Thanks, Anna. Alive and well and racing up the Canadian charts. And Rob Winnipeg. Nash's rise from the dead gave rise to the Rob band. Rob Nash today, a rocker who tore up a record. You walked away from a successful music career to dedicate your life to these Get kids. Get ready for some inspiration to start your day. Gave Rob Nash a second chance. Canadian singer-musician Rob Nash is mixing music with Nash the message. Nash is touring high school gymnasiums and detention centers, talking Rob to teens. Nash is the best spokesperson I have ever heard when it comes to mental health. We're going to introduce you to a guy who, after surviving a car crash, felt like he cheated death. Rob Nash has a stack of letters from students. His message has reached thousands over the years. And they're not thank you cards. They're not fan mail either. Today in a tattoo parlor, he showed those students they also now have a lasting impression on this him. This country is better because Rob Nash is here. talking about the serious crash you were in and how that changed your life. Me and my friends went for a joyride. Uh, we lost control on the way back to school and the semi truck actually hit us head on, crushed our vehicle. My friends were fine, they ran from the vehicle and I was found with no pulse, not breathing. As you can tell, I came back to life. You know, a lot of surgeries that I'm still having. They put my head back together with metal. But I didn't wake up enlightened wanting to change the world. I woke up very bitter, very angry. You know, to be honest with you, I didn't want to be alive. And I didn't talk to anyone about it. I kept it inside. And I made it through that dark time. And, um, but then I started to wonder, you know, how many other people out there are going through those dark thoughts? They're not talking about it. And I thought, man, I wanted to tell my story so other people wouldn't have to die like I did before they started to live and do things for others. And so I started playing music just to tell a story. We had a few top 10 hits on the radio. And then a few years ago, we had a chance to do a tour through prisons, youth detention centers, native reserves, and schools telling my story. But I had to rip up my record deal to do it because there was no pay. But we share stories of families and schools that have lost kids to suicide. We share stories of people that have ripped up their suicide notes. And so many of these kids, they tattoo the lyrics of our songs of their arms where they used to cut, where they used to insert their needles. And that meant so much to me. And I'm like, if they think that I'm that much a part of their life, I want to show them that they're much, that much a part of my life. So I took the signatures of the first 120 suicide notes that were given to us. These are their actual signatures all over my arm. And I wanted them to see how much they mean to me, that they are important, they have value. And when we do shows now, I can show students this and I can say, look, I know you feel alone. You feel like they're the only ones with these thoughts in your mind. You're not. Look at all these names. These are kids just like you and they're still here today and they're conquering the world around them. And it's been an amazing impact. And now we've been handed over 530 suicide notes at these shows oh that we perform gosh. in schools across Canada. And now schools are coming together so we can perform to multiple schools at a time and just see huge impact. Can I ask you what your assessment is of what, what is at the heart of, of the pain of these kids? What, what, is there a common thread? If you have heart sickness and your heart fails you, the world around you comes running to help, to support you. When you have mental health issues, everyone runs That's the right. other way and they don't know what to do. Rob, um, I wish that I could be right there to give you a hug and say thank you for the work you're doing for our kids that so desperately need you. You are a lifesaver and you are my hero. Thanks for joining me today.